when I say Netmarble went off with this costume, I mean they went off. And unfortunately, the cut-in covers a little something, but hey, they have done absolute wonders. This and the barn skin are both absolutely amazing. I mean, just look at it, man. It is, it is so goddamn good. The barn skin we've got here, I do have my own separate video on this one. We'll go ahead and run him on a different team, but hey, starting off against demons. I feel like we faced a lot of this in the previous video. I'm gonna put a lot of faith in Bond going and killing here. I think there's no way we don't go ahead and get the kill, especially with the rocks of passive in play here. The barn will surely get one crit on this first card, which he's proving me otherwise, uh, but with the guaranteed crits on this second card, and if he just gets shy of that, we see the extra damage anyway, so very, very DPS orientated team, and it's going to be a very, very powerful one. I've been in love with this LR Escanor. I was going to try and keep him away from some of these other showcases so we could kind of see the power of these other characters a bit more, but... Man, if, if we're using four humans, I mean, why not, right? We got the rocks here. We'll try and get rid of some of her cards in this next turn. Maybe try and go for the kill on as the Rosar. Might be a pretty good play. Unfortunately, it's not a crazy amount of red characters. I mean, there is a fourth boss fan who is very, very dominant at the moment. But other than that, like, yeah, we have this Barn who's here. Do you want to maybe try and take take out Barn with Roxy? We could go ahead and do that. Uh, let's see. You're the AoE one, yeah. Let's just go full send before she probably goes in and ends up dying here. Couple darkness stacks on us. I mean, hey, not bad. That'll go ahead and do the extra damage. Or not. Am I forgetting what Roxy does? I think I might be. Man, our animations go so hard, though. Okay, never mind. It's a single target card. I was going to say, I thought the AoE sounded a little bit weird in my head, but yeah, he was going to go ahead and get rid of the Roxy anyway, so I thought we might as well go ahead and show off on this first turn, because it is her showcase, and I don't think I have a crazy amount of things I do want to go ahead and show her off with. Unfortunately, she has fallen a little bit behind when it comes to all the human characters. There's just a couple better ones out at the moment, and man, the... if you're not using any of like the super meta, meta teams, you know, your sins and all that kind of stuff like that, the new god team with tier and all that is just so much fun to go ahead and use. Let's do that. That'll go ahead and get review, and that'll at least stop Asterosa from doing any wild damage in these next couple turns. And what are we thinking? 400? Okay, no. I'm overestimating a little bit. I'm used to gear, okay? I've, I haven't gone ahead and got to see him in the gear showcase yet, but... Hey, look, it's... By the time you kill Roxy, there's just these two other characters that are wailing on you for these absurd amounts of damage. I think I could probably go ahead and chuck the Time Mill Grace, just so he shares like, a little bit more survivability instead of the uh, melee for the extra attack. That might be the go. And hey, why not? We'll push off the barn ultimately. We're getting his cut in before we get to see the, the Roxy one. I suppose we got to see it on the intro there, but their yeah, barn's looking good as well. They have a spare $40, I mean, they're kind of fire. And what is this absolute garbage of a team? Are you really going to do this to me? I'm glad I'm running Eskimo because that is going to completely destroy this guy's plans. And this is a real player, I hope we get a forfeit. I guess scum like you, man, scum like you do not deserve to be playing this game. Did I target the Lost Fane? I might have just thrown here. Okay, yeah, I did. Sweet, look at that, yeah. Get this, get this garbage out of here. You're guaranteed to go second on that kind of team, and you're guaranteed to lose off the barn, because, oh no, we're shy of damage. Oh wait, Roxy passive exists. Let's go, man. And what are you gonna do with this, huh? Chandler by himself, it's, you don't stand a chance. We can watch him, or we can watch our Eskinaut absolutely destroy him with these cards get to see the ultimate as well. I was really surprised on his ultimate gear showcase, which if you haven't gone and seen, by all means, go ahead and check out. Drown check off Roxy. She's done nothing wrong and she's sadly probably the weakest on the team. Oh, man, that's that's kind of sad. Oh, well, we can we can do this instead. Escanor, Escanor, and we'll, we'll slam out the Twiggle as well. That'll remove your buffs. Yeah, sure, why not? You can go ahead and do that to me. We're gonna crush you though. Oh, you think, you're, you think you're gonna live? No, no, no. A large wiggle isn't coming out anytime soon. Hey, and you're not gonna get that ultimate either, because the eastern backline. If I had some cosmetic upgrades, I'd by all means go ahead and upgrade her. It's sad that we don't get to see that ultimate, though. You know what you're not gonna cop for that, Merlin? You know what you're gonna get? You're gonna get a cruel sun to the face and a elegant, elegant blow if you survive. Oh, wait. She doesn't stand a chance. And what is this? Is this some kind of rule on that I just haven't paid attention to? No. No excuse for people to be using the demon team. The time has passed, thankfully. This team was meta for something ridiculous, some six, seven months. I mean, I was away for quite a bit of it being meta, which is, I mean, hey, I'm kind of grateful for. Oh, well, we've got a real player as well. We'll give him, we'll give him the emote back. We'll give him some of the sauce. He gets it. Yeah, he likes the LRS interaction. Who's his backline unit going to be? 
if it's if it's the first execution zone, just it's a little bit sad because he didn't get any of the stat buffs before we wiped his melee. That's Kusok though. That means we did pretty good damage wise. Yeah, I'm I'm really sorry, man. That's where the fun in spending money on PvP comes in to get play. Like <laughs> when it's a game where you have live action or live time PvP, it's there's gonna be some salty things happening. Let's get rid of tier your global threat number one. Oh no, I didn't even think about the Okay, I thought for some reason it'd be the regular fray, just because I'm so used to using that team. If you have Tommy, I'll... Arpan might just miss out on this here. Is the Roxy gonna be enough? Look at that. It was all planned. It was all planned. I wanted to kill her next anyways. I was just putting some extra ignites on her, you know? Trying to kind of trying to get the Escanor built up by all means. <laughs> okay, that's definitely something to look out for. I do wish the Holy Relic did this costume a little bit better. I like running all of their characters with the Holy Relic equipped and not so much equipped, but having it visible on the character. Uh, and yeah, it's just, this one really, really goes with the costume. I had to kill Eska, buddy. I mean, we don't have the cards to go ahead and retaliate, but uh, if we kill you, we can go ahead and single target the Freya in the middle and then we can kind of start getting things on the way to it finished. Why not? Since we have the Roxy here, we can actually get type advantage against something. We'll go for it. Is Bun gonna miss out on the kill on her? No, she would not with the extra damage with the Freya passive. Or with the Roxy passive, I don't think. Yeah, look at that. The jiggle physics as well. Chill out, Grand Cross. Ah. I mean <laughs> Her damage is so small compared to what we're seeing at the moment. Is she kind of just like a another Ludo? Like just this just this passive bot that you kinda of put on the team to let her do her thing? I mean, at least you can stand there and look pretty unlike Ludo. Ludo's kind of mid-character when it comes to looks. Oh, okay, gonna keep her in the field though. I like that. I definitely like that. Hey! You let him survive this long, you, you made a mistake. You made a mistake. Is the cool son gonna kill? No. Can you one-tap the Freya though? Please? No crits. Bruh. <laughs> I need a level 100 Merlin. I don't have you up and it's you know how expensive this guy was to get a lot I did not realize just how many XP potions you need to actually get them from 0 to 100 again because it is insane the increase it's drastic by all means I had a full night of XP farming because I didn't have any XP potions at all so I was like oh we'll go ahead we'll grind those up that way we can go ahead and upgrade Escanor I think I went through a full night of XP potions just on Escanor can you believe that? It shouldn't, this shouldn't be real. <laughs> not only that, but the six UR pendants, which cost however many SSR pendants. I'm not going to do the math in my head. I'm throwing matches because I'm rambling now. We still get the win, but I did want to see Barnes ultimate there. But, but just get on to the next match. I know where this is the same guy again. Is it? I didn't, I don't remember checking the name last time. Can we get a, can we give him a thumbs up and get one back? Let's check if it's time we race again. Yeah. I'm really sorry if this is, I'd have to go back and check in post, but there's no way your melee survives and I'm not forfeiting just for the video. I'm sorry man, I am really sorry. Also, if you guys have any teams for Escanor, if you guys have any teams for any of these characters you want to go ahead and see, by all means let me know in the comment section down below. I'm trying to level up a lot more in my box so I can do more of these kind of randomizer content. Yeah, I guess it was him. But SSR pendants are just so scarce in this game. Wow, coming up against an unknown team. I mean, I love to see it. Yamelon's definitely gonna have Tom. Galane? Maybe? Yeah, okay. Uh, yeah, you're. If you're alive, I feel like I'm a little bit more susceptible. Man, I keep forgetting about all these new characters and all their stuff that they do. I still think getting that extra debuff's gonna be enough to make Bond kill. Yeah, there's, there's no way he doesn't. Well, when we see the extra damage man, Roxy is such a good combination with this barn. I mean, I would have liked to have gone in and showcased it without him, but it works far, far too well. The fact that we are forced to target her anyways is perfect because I wanted to get rid of her. I can't wait for that <laughs> event to rerun because this character, this costume, dude, what were they cooking? They were... It speaks for itself, right? The Rigger Tony special? Hey, I am jealous, that's for sure. That's the only character I really, really wanted from the collab. Everyone else is like, they, a lot of them are super overpowered in PvP and unfortunately there's no story with the collab. Which I really like the... The ReZero collab story was really, really interesting. I feel like that was probably the best one we got. If not, the King of Fighters. I really, really like that was cool. And the damage is crazy! 
chill, bro. Can we get him with one tap? Oh, oh no. <laughs> Broxy, Broxy seals the deal, but I did want him to actually one tap with his card effect. And then we just have you surviving. Man. We're never dying to wrap up the video. Oh, she tanks it. Okay. <laughs> but yeah, man. We'll save this one off and then we'll do one final match and probably go flawless. I mean, you did be expected, right? And if you guys have made it this far in the video, I mean, I hate going ahead and asking for it, but please go ahead and leave a like and subscribe if you've got this far. You clearly enjoy what you're seeing, right? I hope so, at least. <laughs> but yeah, we are going to be trying to do double uploads from here on out for Grand Cross, so there's going to be a whole lot more content. I'm thinking it is very unfortunate and very sad, but I am going to have to leave the Dokkan content. The YouTube algorithm is just punishing me way too hard for trying to do stuff different, and I know I shouldn't go ahead and let that kind of deter me from doing it. I should do what I enjoy, but man, the Dokkan content, we can maybe have a second channel or technically a third channel for Dokkan content, but I'd like to eventually have it all here, but maybe now is just not the time for it, where after my break and all that kind of stuff, I feel like if maybe I had to continue doing Brain Cross, I could have done something like that, but yeah, it's just, it's not going to work out, so full Brain Cross double uploads from here on out. Uh, I'm sure a couple of you guys will be happy to hear that. Can we get rid of you? You've still been on a pretty good, pretty good streak of killing Deanne here. Let's see what he can do. If the crits are there, I think he can do it. Maybe, maybe next character level 100 will be the Green Merlin, so we can go ahead and get these guaranteed crits. Because, yeah, that that play would have sealed the deal there. If he had got that, the extra explosion from Roxy would have came out, and we would have been done. Uh, this is play perfect though, because we can see her level three against Lost Vein. Her level three doesn't kill against the Lost Vein, that'd be, that'd be sad. Also, if Escanor had some kind of revive, passive like this Escanor, uh, with the LR already, that'd be, that'd be just fire, bro. Come on, Roxy, have you got it? Oh, let's go. <laughs> Jeez, okay, yeah. There's not much he can do here, unless we get into his revive state and he... He does the Escanor thing where he gets a level 3 merger in his AoE and just insta-wins. Uh, we can finally close out with the alternate animation. I'm really glad we ended up getting this in the video. We've got the Barn one first match in. Look at that. Man. that I hate this character, bro. He's so good to use on your own team, but going against him can be a real, real scary thing. But yeah, once again, that is about does it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed. If so, please leave a like and subscribe. It really means a lot to me. And I'll see you guys for some more brand cross content.